and a good morning from Lintal. Another day, another trip. And this time we're going to make a trip to, uh, to the Klarietenhütten. <coughs> it's actually going to be a two-day trip. Uh, day one is from Lintal to the Klarietenhütte and day two is from the Klarietenhütte to the Klausenpass Höhe. It's incredibly uh, warm today um, and I could not take my original journey because there is a huge biking uh, thing going on on the Klausenpass. So the trip today is only 13 kilometers, but it's a steep 2,000 uh, meter climb. So uh, it's going to be quite heavy and uh, I think I better get on my way. And uh, thanks again for walking with me. <laughs> But first, we're going to go for a coffee. So, and here we can already see our destination on the plate, Klarydenhuten. So, this first stretch of the journey is apparently walking alongside this beautiful brook. So, and now we're leaving the road the paved road for something more experimental. So, and how beautiful is this? And we are now already some three to four kilometers along the way. However, that doesn't say much. At a certain moment we're going to find ourselves at one of these tops. But beautiful weather, lovely walk. This is some company for along the way. And here we go across a completely dry riverbed. Also a slightly different landscape. We are now going to make a walk through the wood. I'm now at uh, Groemelau, but I must say it's quite heavy. I'm already halfway, that's the good news. I started about 9.30, already halfway, 13 kilometers. The only difficulty is that um, I'm currently only at a height of 1100 meters, and the hut is up 2300 meters, so that means there's another roughly 1100 meters to climb. So that means approximately 150 to 200 meters an hour, which is really heavy. Anyway, thank you for walking with me.
1500 meters. I'm now in Wangen. It is incredibly heavy. It's now around two o'clock, five minutes past two to be precise. But uh, it's incredibly heavy because I need to get up, I think, another 800 meters. So uh, be with me. And thanks for, uh, for doing that by walking with me. Thank you. So, three o'clock, 1787 meters. A long, long, long way to climb. Uh, really, really tired. Um, but it was good. I, uh, I had a lift for about a kilometer uh, from a couple of very, from a nice Swiss farmer's family. I think all in all that basically saved another 100 meters climb. So, feel blessed. Thank you. Nineteen hundred fifty meters, another roughly four fifty to go. Really, really tired. It's now five minutes past four. I just sent an email to the to the cabin <clears throat> that I'm on my way where I am. That I might be running late. <sighs> really, really tired, but I think I'm gonna make it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Absolutely worth out of sleep. Long shadows in the grass. Das ist immer eine schöne Nachspeise, nicht? Ja. <lacht> to the cabin. Um, I made it in time for dinner. So, and this is where I slept tonight. It's a room for approximately uh, 12 people, but I was lucky enough to, um, to be the only inhabitant. So, <clears throat> I didn't sleep very, very well. I never do that in these type of circumstances. Um, but um, it's a beautiful hut. I, uh, the views are fantastic, extremely friendly people. And I'm going to walk to the clouds and uh, hear you today. And uh, thank you for walking with me. Some 
serious negotiation to do. This is both down here. So, almost like a moon type of landscape, except for the white, for the red, white, red beacons along the way. So, it's, um, I made a huge descent. So, I made a huge descent from the, from the hut. And it was, uh, it was very, um, how do you say, dangerous. There were a lot of, let's say, small rocks. Uh, I slipped five or six times. Um, at a certain moment, I decided to put my camera away <laughs> to only concentrate on the road, which is a good idea. Um, anyway, I'm now at around 2,100 meters and on my way to the Vissetum Pass. So, um, thanks again for walking with me. So this is where we came from and this is where we're going to. Absolutely beautiful. We've been walking on a beautiful mountain ridge. So enjoying this lost country. the other side of the mountain ridge on our way to the pass. Interesting crossing. Still on our way to the pass, and a couple of interesting companions along the way. And absolutely no idea what that is. Unless I'm very mistaken, that is the path crossing. Oh, roughly 500 meters. So, I made it to the Fisate and, and I feel very, very satisfied. Let's look uh, what I'm going to do on the way back. I think there are a number of alternatives, but i um, very, very happy having made this. I don't think I can make my way to the Pass. That's too tricky to uh, to be sure that I catch the, the bus. So I'm going to the Forder Kloes, which is, um, which gives me access to the bus station. That means that this is the road I'm going to take.
So, and this is the last stretch to the bus stop. It's incredibly hot. I think I'll need to walk at least for another 35 minutes uh, on this road. But it was a wonderful, uh, wonderful trip. Really enjoyed it. If you can spare two days and you have a lot of stamina, highly recommend it. And uh, thanks again for walking with me.